I, I, like, I'm not trying. I don't want to be offensive. It's not. I, I have a weird fucking life. Like, I, I, it's, I mean, this is what I have to talk about. I, I, I'm fucking divorced twice, seven heart attacks. Uh, I'm about to go to jail in the very near future for not paying my child support to a lesbian that I knocked up at an orgy, but it was my fucking DNA, so I'm on the hook. Uh, and, and I'm going to go to jail because I already dropped out of society years ago. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. That's roof and food. Uh, anyway... Let me take it back a second. So, all right. So, I, I'm really obsessive compulsive. So, everything I do, I do, like, totally to the extreme. And that's why I've had this weird fucking life. Uh, like, the only th good thing I've done for myself was I lost 111 pounds. Uh, no, no, no. But it's not. People are like, oh, yay. No, no. I'm fucking crazy. Like, I just didn't leave the house for six months. And, oh, if you eat every three hours and work out 12 times a fucking week. Like, it's, a, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, just, it's, it's just disease. It's like saying, yay, great job on your fucking mental disorder. Good for you, sir. Um... <laughs> Anyway, so, uh, all right, so I used to have, I used to have the, like, picture-perfect life. I made, you know, six figures a year. I worked, uh, and it th had this office on the 30th floor of the Pac Bell building and looking over Puget Sound in downtown Seattle. Suits and tie every day. Beautiful house in Bellevue, which is, like, one of the 25th richest. Pla you know, beautiful. This is my second wife with the uh, big tits, blonde chick. Like, it was just all the, this is the shit that you're supposed to do. We had a dog. We had a fucking cat and the fucking, you know what I mean? But then I just snapped. I just fucking snapped. Because that's how, I mean, I got there because I just for eight years was like, there's a corporate ladder. I must climb it. And then by the time I get to that point, I was like doing mushrooms and sleeping under my desk for like eight hours a day. <laughs> fucking going to the strip club and expense reporting, you know, <laughs> lap dances. I mean, I just totally snapped. So finally, I'm on this like crazy binge and I'm like, I'll fucking jacked and I'm like I, I'm gonna kill myself I just I was gonna kill myself so I swallowed like a half bottle of Xanax and quite a bit of Percocet and a, bo a bottle of uh, Irish whiskey so I figured that would do it but but before it set in like all of a sudden I realized like oh wait a minute like that's not I can't just that's fucking uh, I have to remove this footprint from my like I couldn't just you can't just kill yourself you have to, I had to kill the cat and then the dog and then the wife and then myself because I'm crazy uh, so like then I realized I should have like waited on the pills, but uh, I I took because it sounded like a great idea. I took the cat into the bathroom and like broke its neck. Um, and at this point, like at this point, this is really starting to fuck with me. Like I love the dog. I mean, fuck the cat. I got her the cat uh, for a Christmas present because I put a Tiffany's necklace over it. It jumped out of a bag, and I just wanted that moment. She goes ah, and then I had to live with this fucking cat. Uh, but I love the dog. I love that fucking dog. I mean, we had an intimate moment once. So I didn't want to... So I'm like, this shit's fucking with my head. And I, I'm just like, fuck it, I'm hungry. I'm going to go eat. So I drive to McDonald's, and I get $20 worth of double cheeseburgers, which I don't know if you guys are familiar with the dollar menu, but that's 20 fucking double cheeseburgers. So I sit in my car and just eat. Like was, Apparently, that was my new preferred method of suicide. I was like 290 pounds at this point. And, uh, Pass the fuck out, bathed in processed food. Wake up, it's like five in the morning. I'm like, what the fucking Jesus Christ? I'm totally blacked out for this whole period. I drive back to the house. My wife just woke up to go to work. She found the fucking cat. She's blaming the dog. She's like, I knew they wouldn't get along. I knew they wouldn't get along. And I'm like, yep, guess not. Dude. I'm taking a nap, fucking. So like, I got help immediately. Like. I got psychiatric professional help immediately. I'm not bragging. I fucking, I, you know, but, uh, but Prozac is a wonderful drug. <laughs> it's really a wonderful drug. But that's my worst story, and you guys just laughed at it. Jesus Christ. This is awesome. I was expecting groans. I even wrote a little tag at, in case they groan. Here's what, you know. Because <laughs> a lot of gigs I play, like, that's all I get is just, oh, and people in the audience think I'm bombing, and I'm like, you don't understand. This is why I do this shit. This is the stored up, like, emotional scarring that I need to finally pull the fucking trigger, which I would have done years ago, but my, my sister died first, and I can't do that to my parents twice. So, like, I gotta, I gotta wait till they kick the bucket, but they're getting old. They're getting old. So I'm just hanging out and trying to pay my child support by telling jokes about paying my child support. <laughs> totally dropped off. The, and then whenever they die, I'll, you know, sell whatever, and it'll buy the drug fiend that'll, you know, get me into that. And that's great. That's my retirement plan. <laughs>
<laughs> Guys, thanks so much. You've been a fucking great audience. <laughs>